Global Patriot Solutions. Heute bereit. Gotowy na wyzwanie jutra. Kiono tameni. Al amsa lil gad. Hi, this is Colin Clark, editor of Breaking Defense. We're here at the uh, Paris Air Show with Bill Anderson, president of Textron Airland, and we're uh, in front of their Scorpion, which they've uh, developed on their own dime. And uh, as you can see from the slogan, Sea Sense Sting, it's designed very much with an eye to close air support. And uh, we'll let Bill Anderson tell us a bit more about the aircraft. Hi, Colin, and thanks for coming. Uh, we designed Scorpion as a multi-role information surveillance reconnaissance strike aircraft. And the strike, combined with the ISR, gives us the ability to do modern close air support. And show us a bit of the uh, plane's capabilities here. Uh, the aircraft, A, is the cost for capability. It, bring, it gives you great value at less than $3,000 a flight hour and a great capability. For instance, we can, we can go with a mission load, go out 250 nautical miles, loiter over a target area or an area of interest for five hours, if needed, sense, engage a target, destroy a target, return, and land with reserve fuel. All that for less than $3,000 a flight hour. And uh, do you have a uh, tentative price, uh, flyaway price for the aircraft? We do, tentative price, but again, the, the final price will be based on the configuration. Right. So the standard configuration is about $20 million. Um, and again, the actually, for the first 400 hours on this particular airplane right here, the operations and maintenance costs on those first 400 hours, $1,025 an hour. Wow. That is an actual cost, an exceptional reliability. Our reliability on this airplane, which is the demonstration airplane, over 98%. Wow. Um, so uh, let's uh, go back a little bit. The Air Force recently had its Close Air Support Summit mm -hmm. with the Marines and uh, the rest of the services. There was a lot of talk about whether the Air Force would need a new dedicated Close Air Support weapon to presumably plug the gaps at a lower cost uh, version of sort of the, to replace the A-10. Um, F-35s can do a lot of the cast for the Marines and the Air Force. Where do you see this fitting in? I think this is an excellent close air support airplane. A lot of close air support involves the communication and coordination with the ground forces. So we would love to partner with the United States Air Force to close the gap between the initial request for close air support and actually being able to deliver the close air support to the ground forces. Have you talked with uh, General Carlisle about this? I have not per uh, personally spoken to General Carlisle. Um, I think he is aware of this airplane. Mm -hmm. And not only is it fully capable of close air support, again, it is a multi-mission airplane that provides more capability. Border patrol, maritime surveillance, um, air interdiction, coin. And again, this aircraft has a unique feature of high dash speeds, low, great low handling speed characteristics. You've got a 70 foot payload bay, or 70 cubic feet in a center payload bay, which gives this aircraft a unique capability for its size. Thank you very much. Thank you, Colin.